The infrared or IR sensor module is a very cool sensor that you can use in your Arduino projects. You can use this in your robot car as an obstacle avoidance sensor or even as an intruder sensor on your home security system that will trigger an alarm. Or you can even use it as an object counter similar to what I did here on my prototype cardboard conveyor system. It works by sensing the proximity of an object through its IR emitter and IR receiver circuit. Programming the infrared sensor with your ESP32 is easy as you don't need an external library to drive it. All you need to do is to digital read the GPIO pin or attach an interrupt handler to one of the interrupt pins. If you want to know more, then let's start exploring. Hi! Welcome to Donsky Tech. Today, we will discuss more about the infrared or the IR sensor module. The IR sensor is a passive electronic component popular with hobbyists and electronic enthusiasts. If you have an internet project or IoT projects that need to detect the movement or proximity of an object from another object, then using an infrared or IR sensor module could solve this problem. Also, using them with the ESP32 microcontroller that has Wi-Fi capability would result into awesome projects. But how does an IR sensor really work? Well, power is applied into our infrared or IR emitter diode to emit an infrared light. And if an object or a load is near it, then it gets reflected back to the IR or infrared receiver, which is usually a photodiode. The nearer the object, then the stronger the signal is captured. A low signal is then returned by our infrared sensor to our ESP32 microcontroller, which can be detected by any of its GPIO pins. I open gets asked if I can see the infrared light being emitted by the infrared sensor. Unfortunately, you cannot see it with your naked eye. But if you video it with your mobile phone, then you would see this pinkish glow. This is the infrared sensors. The IR sensor contains three pins, mainly the BCC, the ground, and our digital output pin. The BCC can be attached to the 5 volts of our ESP32, the ground is to the ground, and the output pin is, can, can be attached to any of the GPIO pins of our ESP32. Most modules come with an IR emitter or an IR receiver, a trim pot potentiometer, to, that you can use to adjust the distance sensitivity between it and the objects being detected. It also contains a signal LED and a power LED to display if power is properly applied or if an object is detected. The comparator of amp chip is needed to process the incoming signal coming from the photodiode and output it to the digital signal. Now, let's go into the exciting part about how we could control our infrared sensor with our ESP32 microcontroller using the Arduino framework. We're going to create two simple projects that will display how useful this electronic component is. The first one is a simple IR switch that will turn on or turn off an LED depending if an IR sensor could detect an object. The second one is how to use the IR sensor as an object counter that will count how many objects has passed through it. So, let's start with the demo of our project. So, this is an IR switch wherein we could toggle an LED on or off just by placing our hand over our, our IR sensor and wait for it to sense it. As you can see, once the IR sensor senses that our hand is near it, then it automatically turns on or turns off the LED. Next is our IR sensor object counter, which we have used in our previous project called the conveyor system with the ESP8266. As you can see, once my IR sensor detects that an object passed through it, like my hand here in this case, then it automatically increases the counter count. It then updates our I squared C LCD to display the current count. Cool, right? So, 
Let's now discuss and head over how to program your IR sensor with your ESP32. So this is the simple program on how you can read the IR sensor. All you have to do is just to declare any pins where you wanted to connect your IR sensor and I have here the LED pin also. And then in the setup function, you just need to set our serial monitor baud rate and the pin mode to input for the IR sensor and output for the LED pin. Once inside the loop, we can now digital read the output of the IR sensor. And if the reading is low, then we will write or turn on the LED. If it's, if it's high, then we will turn off the LED. As you can see, the output from the IR sensor is high when it does not detect anything and then it will trigger to low when something is detected. Next is for the code for the uh, our IR sensor object counter. As you can see, I have declared the same thing for the IR sensor and I have declared here two variables with the volatile key keyword. So the count and the current count will contain the current count and the current counter being displayed by our I squared C LCD. I have here also the some variables that we need to use to debounce our IR sensor. As you will find out in your program, the transition from high to low when an object is detected by the our IR sensor is not smooth. When I say when I say it is not smooth, it's because it transitions from high, then low, then high again and low, and then until it sub it subsides into our low signal. It's almost similar as to how our switch is being debounced. So in this coding here, I have added the debounce mechanism in here. So we can have the ability to remove the spurious signal coming from our IR sensor. The ISR function is being used as my interrupt functions being called when we receive the transition from high into low. I have here the LCD values or LCD configurations to control our I squared C LCD and some functions to print into our LCD. In the setup functions, as you can see, we set up the serial baud rate and then we set the pin mode into an IR sensor input and we attach an interrupt to our IR sensor pin. We pass in our function and we set the value into polling, which means that we are interested in the transition from high to low. We initialize the LCD and then we initially print the current count in here. And during the loop function, as you can see, what we are actually doing is just to print the current count into the LCD. To prevent our I squared C LCD from printing the same number, then we have an if clause here to verify if the current count is equal to the count variable. As you can see, this count variable is being updated by our ISR function that is being called during our interrupt function, interrupt mechanism. So Basically, that is how the you can program your ESP32 with the infrared sensor module. It actually is easy as there is no need for a library in programming it. More information for this video can be found at the write-up of this video, which you can find at the description. The code is also available in, on my GitHub repository. I hope you learned something. Happy exploring!